This is a general overview of the Quilt CAD with Quilt Motion software. To demonstrate the simplicity of this software and how the two work together, we'll walk through selecting a pattern, placing a pattern into a block, taking that pattern into Quilt Motion, and having it quilted onto the fabric. First, we come up here into the quilt area and select any particular block or blocks. Move to your pattern selection area on the right. Move in to choose a pattern of preference. We can scan through and find a pattern that appeals to us. And once we've chosen that pattern, we can place that pattern into the block. We can then take this pattern, move down to the right side and tell it that we're ready to move into quilt motion or computer automated quilting. Now we can select a couple of key options. This will keep your defaults from the previous time's use, including how we want the pattern to be stitched, the number of stitches per inch, the amount of tie-offs, and the speed at which we want our machine to quilt the bear. Now we'll simply tell the software that we're ready to start the remote display. Again, it is that simple, going from pattern selection to choosing a pattern. And placing the pattern. This time let's stretch it, taking that pattern going out to the computer automated system. It is just as simple to do a panograph. Simply choose Pantograph in the top right. Tell that we automatically want to create that Pantograph. I'm going to select the Fill the Pantograph and have the pattern touch end to end. I'll also go into my Pattern Selection tool and select a desired pattern. And simply take that to the computer automated process. We're ready now to go over to our fabric surface. This has been an overview of the step-by-step -step simplicity behind selecting patterns, taking those patterns and going directly to your quilt surface for computer-automated quilting.